Dear students, see the next one from 11th standard, motion in a straight line. NCRT, NCRT exercise problem 3.1. Okay. See that uh, from this question, uh, you have to analyze uh, whether it is a point object or whether it is not, I mean, whether it is point object or not point object. Okay. Um, it is a, if you observe this question, you have to analyze, you have to analyze the specific situation. Then you have to think. Uh, sometimes you are thinking that is point object, but it is not point object. Sometimes you are thinking it is not point object, but actually that is point object. So in what situation it is possible to say whether it is a point object or not like that. Okay. See that uh, now. In which of the following example of motion can the body consider approximately approximately a point object? Approximately very important. Okay, so uh, some four example is given. So you must analyze that. Then you can say whether it is a point object or not. Okay. Listen, the first one. A railway carriage moving without jerk between two stations. Okay. Railway carriage, you know that. Okay. A kushti. So railway carriage. Okay, some compartments, it's a track, okay, between A station and B station. Generally, you know, in the station maybe 50, minimum 50 km or otherwise mostly 100 km let's take, okay. So, without jerk, that means and the railway carriage moving without jerk. So, generally, if you feel when you're moving in the train, you feel always oscillating. Always little vibration is there. Not little vibration, more vibration is there. You can't consider as that is point object. Okay? When when while you are in the train, it is not considered as a point object. But question is not that. Observe the question. A railway carriage moving without the jerk between two stations. So you should consider between two stations. Okay. For example, see that here one station, after 100 km, one more station is there. At the time you are observing, how you are observing the situation? You can understand. Maybe now you are in the flight or in the helicopter. Okay. Or otherwise, like some satellites, you can observe. You can observe these two stations at the time. A station also you can observe, B station also you observe. So in between, in between, the train is, the train is going without the jerk. Correct only, no? Because you are observing from very large distance. You can, it is visible A, A, A station also and B station also. Okay, so in this situation, the train is moving. So actually the train vibration is there, but uh, you can't observe that. You feel it is like a line, one line is going. Okay, can you understand the situation? So in this situation, this is considered as point object. Okay, so the answer, it is point object. Okay, it is a point object. A point object. It is considered as point object. Okay, see that. Actually, we can't expect the train is a point object, but here train is a point object. Okay, see the next question. A monkey is sitting on the top of the man. Okay, uh, cycling smoothly on a circular track. Okay. Let us imagine your school ground and something. 
okay try and generally try means you know minimum 200 500 800 so that much level is there so it is a try it is a try okay so now you have to absorb whole track so in this situation they are saying one person one person okay then one monkey is standing on the person okay so uh, so here like that okay one monkey is standing on the person okay uh, suppose if you are observed directly that person nearly close the monkey is not considered as point object correct or not but uh, not it is not the situation there see the situation the monkey is sitting on top of a man cycling smoothly on a circular track you should to observe whole circular track okay suppose you here the cycle person is there okay cycle person the person is standing so the near the person the monkey is there if you close to the person the monkey is not point as it but now you are observing the entire track so in that much distance you are standing so in this situation maybe the cycle is visible that man also visible but the monkey is not visible that much okay so in this situation we can say this is also considered as point object clear point object see the next one next one see that ninge edavela nenikireengala adu opposite aagum see that the spinning of cricket ball spinning of cricket ball that it turns softly on the on the hitting the ground okay the spin ball you know okay so spin bowler okay i think anil kumble i don't know now nowadays those who are okay so anil kumble if you observe that ball the ball it will be spin okay not not only rotation so rotate as well as spin okay when it is the hit the ground it will change the direction so now you should to observe the ball why it is hitting on the ground ground okay so in this situation see the ball if it generally ball means maybe if it is a long distance means that is point object but the situation is not like that see that actually this the ball the ball will be the spinning the spinning ball when it is hit the ground hit the ground so you should you should you should focus this point you should focus the ground and the ball in that situation the ball is not a point of stage okay like take this choppies now you should observe the choppies is this point object no the same situation only here so here the answer not point object okay right and then the next one okay see the next one here tumbling beaker that has slipped off the edges of the table okay or table or edges la okay let us take one table okay for example it is a table okay this is let us imagine this is a table okay it will enter under the it will be filled by the water and the edges okay the table edges the water is there abadi enna avadhu it's a tumbling beaker abadi all it will be little vibration so water will be it will be sinking in different direction so in this situation okay so please listen students so in this situation see that the tumbling beaker that it has slipped off the edges of the table konja konja now the now it will be fold up so in this situation you consider as point object no this is not point object okay it's a very very small drop you just you observe from the long distance it's point object okay it is tumbling beaker okay konja vandha vandru it is not like a point object 
so the d1 answer not point opposite so first one point opposite second one point opposite third one not point opposite and fourth one also not point opposite okay students so i hope you understood how you have to analyze with the point opposite and not point opposite okay thank you